that was the longest train journey ever. Don't you love it when you have to get the train early in the morning by yourself and you forget your headphones? Oh my god, I haven't even had time to do my hair today, guys. It is so, so messy. Um, just got to London Bridge now. I've got a meeting today for the Pointless Project, which you guys will find out about soon. Um, but I'm just heading now to go and get a coffee because I'm a tiny bit early and I'm waiting for my taxi driver. And there's a little coffee place down here that is like my favourite. So if you live in London near London Bridge, I very, very, very highly advise this place. I'll show you why. Ah, I just realised that I don't have time, guys. My taxi is literally like three minutes away, my driver. And it's all the way down that road down there. Ah, I'll try and go another time and show you guys. It's basically like a shop that specialises in coffee and hot chocolate, but like really, really, really properly made. And they're like massive stirring machines and it's amazing but for now I'm just gonna have to hit up Starbucks I'm just outside my meeting now finishing up my Starbucks before I go in and I just had a Starbucks breakfast as well which was good because I never really eat breakfast I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day afterwards though because I don't really know that many people in London <laughs> So, I finished this meeting in probably about two hours from now. The woman's looking at me very strange across the road. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're just gonna have to take it and see as it goes. I'm not even making sense, it's too early. It is like, what's the time? Oh, maybe not, it's half past 11. I woke up too early. We'll blame it on waking up early instead. But yeah, so I'm gonna head into this meeting now and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Flippity flop, yo. Still haven't even done my hair when I come out the meeting. I've got gel in my bag, but I haven't decided to put it in my hair. Um, just trying to find out how to get back to Brighton from here, because I don't normally get this train. Wow, there's like 10 million different boards. Look at all these different timetables. How am I meant to know which one goes to Brighton? Uh, oh, alphabetical order. Okay, 57 in 30 seconds. Oh no it's not. 10 minutes, perfect. 10 minutes, uh, platform five. Ooh. One to six. Doo -doo. Thank you. Have they got an Alfie? That is the question. Come on, come on. My, my name might have to be Victoria today. Matthew, mate, Lauren, bestie, love, love. I could just go for a love. I don't know. I want to find an outfit. Here's the boy. Here he is. <laughs> I'm weird. One of my favourite things about getting the train, except from getting it by yourself, which sucks, but my favourite thing is watching other people try and make it onto the train. Like when people are in full suits and like loads of bags. Is this horrible of me? Am I a bad person for liking it? When you see like a full-blown businessman, like he is serious. He is a businessman and he is powerful and then you see him like trying to like casually run slash power walk to catch his train on time. I find it so funny because all these men are so like, oh yes, I'm a professional, professional man. And then they'll be like trying to look professional while running for the train. I don't know, probably just me guys. Um, I just got to Brighton Station now. Finally finished all my stuff for today. My meetings, it was so good. Like I can't even describe how good the meeting went. I am basically the pointless project that I've been talking about guys. Oh, I need to get my ticket out. One minute, I got it. I got it. Oh, it's gonna be absolutely insane. I think I'm off now. Quickly nipping back to Zoe's to drop my laptop off. And then I, everyone's looking at me strange. Why is that boy talking to a camera? And then I'm um, going, oh, she's looking at me. And then I'm going to go and have dinner with my sister, her boyfriend, my cousin, and her boyfriend as well. So that would be cool, because I don't get to see my cousin too often, because she lives like in London or Oxford or something like that. Wait, I've got these on my face! That doesn't matter. I'm back at Zoe's now, guys. And I'm kind of a bit obsessed with the Capri Suns I bought the other day. I have had eight yesterday. Was it yesterday? Um... No, the day before yesterday I had eight. Yesterday I had about three or four, and so far since being back about ten minutes I've had two or in three. I've already had three. And we just calculated, well not calculated, we looked on the back and there was 20 grams of sugar in each one. Wow. 
coffee. Do you know how much that is, guys? Zoe's measuring it out now. I'm gonna Wait, put, put it, it in put my it on mouth. There. This is how much sugar is in one Capri Sun. Is in one Capri Sun. That's disgusting. Like, that's disgusting. Is that bad? Look how, yeah, look how small the packet is. Is that bad? Yes, I'm not going to look at you because I've got patches on my spot. Right, Zoe's got some spot plasters on. <laughs> show them them. Let me show them them. <laughs> like, what? Let, what is that? It's I'm testing it. It's supposed to get rid of spots. That's cool. Well. Anyways, I don't care. I'm not wasting the sugar and putting it back. If I can. Uh-oh, this is gonna go wrong. It's gonna seem like one of this. I want another one already. No, They're so tasty. I'm not having any more after seeing how much sugar is. I'm in gonna that. buy so I'm gonna start freezing them. No. Actually no, because then I wouldn't be able to drink it for the straw. Unless I just cut the thing off and let it as an ice cube. You know those um what are those ice lollies that are like oh, triangles? Oh they were called Do you remember? It'd be like a massive version of one of them. I can't remember. Do you remember? They're, they're like Ghibli or Jobbly or no, something. They what were, were they called? And used to cut yeah, but what were they called? Can't remember. I'm going to Google it one minute. Oh, look, look, see, they were called Jobblies. Told I know you. Jobblies are something else. What is a Jobbly in your terms then? Boobies. Boobies are Boobies? Jubblies. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Have you never heard that before? No. Check out my Jobblies. I've uh, never heard you say that to me before. <laughs> no, I haven't said it to you. <laughs> Zoe's a silly one and has got a balloon stuck up there on the ceiling. Are you ready? Oh, right, no. you try and get it first. Be careful. Nearly. Nearly got it. How about if you hold me up on the stool? Hey. <gasps> oh no! Oh, you're going to get it. Oh, do it again. Yes! You got it! We did it! That was Tyler Oakley that left that up there. Tyler, leaving your balloons up in here, yo! Gotta get rid of this. Do you want some helium? Pop it. Do you want some helium? No, I don't want it. You helium Put it, it quick! Mouth. Don't try this at home, kids. Hey! No, it doesn't really do much. Do it, you do it, you do it. I don't like it. I don't like, do drugs. Go, just do it. No, you can't do it like that! You have to properly breathe it in and swallow it. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, you take this. Are you chewing it? What are you doing? I don't know if it's going to make much difference. Why is it not doing anything? Damn it. Hey, boys, how you doing? <laughs> hey, little man. Hey, buddy. How are you? How you doing? Bye, boys. I'm going out for dinner now. I'm in the scary as hell lift again guys, I've just left Zoe's now, she is staying at home tonight because she is working on loads and loads and loads of blog posts for you guys, um, but I'm now going out for dinner, as I said earlier, with my sister, her boyfriend, my cousin, and oh my god, the door started moving by itself, and her boyfriend. I'm going to be fifth wheeling, didn't think about this, could be quite awkward. I just ran my cousin to see where she is, and she said near the cupcake shop. There's quite a few of those in Brighton, so it might be a struggle to find her, but we'll see. <laughs> I don't really know what to say, guys. Didn't really feel much today, did I? I feel really, really bad, basically. Um, because I couldn't share what happened in the meeting, even though I'm just telling you now how exciting it was. I know you guys are going to find out soon. Early next month, you're going to find out all that I've been doing and what I've been talking about by this point, this project. And trust me, I promise you, it will be worth it. It's not a tour. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than like anything I've ever done before. It's not merchandise. It's even bigger than that. Like it is so so exciting. But I feel bad that I didn't really vlog much. I didn't vlog the meal just then um, because I didn't really want to stick my camera in my cousin's face. I don't know if she'd want to be on video or her boyfriend. My sister and her boyfriend don't mind. But there was like more than that at the meal. There was like all six of us. No, it's not six. Five. I was the fifth wheel. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go on Twitter now and tweet asking for some questions and do like a little would you rather or Q&A kind of thing now to end this vlog up. Okay, question number one, Anna Irwin. I know why you've got that surname, Anna. If there wasn't... Is there a helicopter? There's a helicopter outside. Okay, sorry about that audio. If there was an apocalypse, which YouTuber would you want to help save you and why? I am 100% without a doubt 
saying Louis Cole because he is like a real life Tarzan, like he would know what to do. Do you find it awkward filming in public? From, I don't even know how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry. Um, do I find it awkward? I don't find it awkward in some places like Brighton where I know people aren't even going to second guess because it's so quirky and a lot of people do weird stuff like talk to a camera and things like that. When I'm like walking around in London maybe where it's like all business people then it can be a little bit awkward because nobody knows what you're doing and they all stare at you and they're all like what, what is that boy doing and point at you and stuff. But it's fine, I'm used to it by now. Do you like girls better in sweats or all dressed up? Now, obviously it is nice to see a girl dressed up and like all really made up because she feels really confident and it's really, really nice as well. Like, it's good to look at. But I honestly, honestly, honestly prefer a girl in sweats. Like comfy trousers, pyjama t-shirt, really, really comfy. It's like laying on the sofa watching a movie and eating snacks. That is when girls look their best. Who is your male celebrity crush? It is definitely without a doubt. I was literally just watching on the TV a second ago. Is Cole Pilkington. May sound a bit odd. I don't know. I just love his personality so much. Cole Pilkington is like the funniest person on TV, I honestly think. If you were granted an autograph by anyone, who would it be? And that is from Jesse Fruit 66 Definitely, without a doubt, Emma Watson. You guys know how obsessed I am with her, and I just want to meet her, that is all. Uh, one more question, scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. What do sheep count when they can't sleep? I don't know, that is a weird question. What do sheep count when they can't sleep? Humans, humans jumping, that is what they count. Oh, someone's done a drawing of me. Focus. Focus. Look, Zalfi Fanbook has done a drawing of me. That is so awesome. Okay guys, that is end of this video. Sorry that it has been, again, just another random day. As I've said before, sometimes I have super productive, busy days, which have been today, but it just means that you get to see less. And sometimes I have more hanging out, chilling days with friends that you guys get to see more, like tomorrow means I'm going to film some Sims, I'm going to go get my car with my mum, um, what else am I doing tomorrow? Maybe even going to play golf. So, I don't know. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, as always, remember to click the thumbs up button. That means a lot. And I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> see you later, guys. I know I've ended the video, guys, but I just thought I would show you what I'm getting quickly whilst I'm at Zoe's house. Before I go to bed, get out. Get out. Also, Zoe told me not to film her, but she's having one as well. No, I'm not. Do I have one in my hand right now? Where have you put it? I haven't got one. Where have you put it? I put it back in the fridge. No, you haven't. It's in your. I'm going to go and look Stop. in your bedroom. <laughs> See? It's, no. Yeah. It's in your bedroom. Oh, let's see, it's not even in your bed and you've got another one. It it's 20 grams of sugar, guys. No, Alfie, stop drinking them, says the one he's drinking them all. This is all. the last one that I like. I don't like the orange ones or the black ones. I love all Carol. of them, I'm obsessed. Right, I'm going back to bed, guys. Oh, wait, I don't know why I said back, back to, to bed. bed. I'm going to bed. Good night, guys. Ending the vlog again, because I kind of just realised something even worse, guys. My addiction has grown even stronger than I just drank Zoe's drink. By accident, so I'm now drinking my orange one I after put drink rubbish in the bin. <laughs> of course I put it in the bin. I didn't mean to. After all that. So I now mocking me for having it and then you drank mine. Now I've got forty <laughs> grams of sugar. Your addiction is real. Also, now there's no flavours left that I like. Forty grams of sugar before bedtime. That's not good. No guys! <laughs> Do it! Carry on! Have you not noticed what's on my feet? No! <laughs> <laughs>